His writing is communicating. Mm -hmm. Meron na tayong tinatawag na basic communication model. If okay. you're a communication student, malamang alam mo to. <laughs> And the <laughs> elements ng communication uh, would be the sender, mm -hmm. the message, your channel, yes. your receiver, and your feedback. Yung lima. Wow. Sometimes, sa giging anin, which would be the noise. Noise would be yung barriers kung bakit mahirap ang intindihin ni receiver yung message mo. And although it's approached as if ang mauna ay sender, yung process dapat pabaliktad. Mm -hmm. Instead of knowing first what your message will be, you go back to your purpose, your why. Just yeah. like what we're discussing yeah. kanina. Ano yung feedback that you want to get? And mm -hmm. who is your audience? Kasi okay. from there, mamamatch mo yung who you are and what your message is. Tsaka what they need as a reader. So whenever you will write anything, whether it's a sales letter mm -hmm. or a blog or a company profile page, yeah. you consider all these. Mahalaga rin yung channels that I mentioned because for most entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. niisip nila, do I have to be on LinkedIn? Do I have to be on Facebook? Do yeah. I have to write blogs for my website? Mm -hmm. Masyadong maraming channels, but they need to choose saan ba ako regularly or consistently magisulat. And I hope that framework helps. Yeah. That is just an overview, but in my course, we can eventually go into details. Yes. Okay. Interesting. Uh, na nadaan ko na tong framework na to, mm -hmm. pero hindi ko na isip na okay. That's the science behind uh -oh. it. And I'm very excited in the course mm -hmm. na ginawa mo, which is the writing, writing hacks, hacks for, for entrepreneurs. entrepreneurs. And I think our viewer, our viewers will really learn mm -hmm. how do we do it uh -oh. scientifically. Uh -oh. 